Hi there, welcome to Floating in Books. Today's video is going to be part number six of my wardrobe declutter. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for being here. This is part number six and it will be the final part as well of my wardrobe declutter that I was doing for you this year. I posted the other five parts already in the springtime and we're now heading towards summer, but I still had one part left where I'm showing you how I declutter these drawers, um, but that video wasn't very long. So I figured I should wait with posting it so that I can also include the befores and afters. So that's got something you can expect in this video. But the third part of this video, which I will be roping in towards the end, are some items that I decided to pull out of the declutter. I know, shocker. But when we get to that part, I will explain to you exactly what my thinking process is when I do declutters. So let me get to the part six of the declutter first, then the befores and afters, and then I'll be showing you what is on the rail behind me. So this is going to be declutter number six. It's going to be the final one. And I need to still go through this chest of drawers because I still have to go through this. This is an area of my wardrobe that I actually declutter a little bit more on the fly. Like I will have worn something going like, oh, I don't need that. But this drawer right here, which is the loungewear drawer is just a disaster. So I need to go through it. What usually happens here is that if I have older sweaters that I still find very comfy, they end up in here, but I don't need that many. So we need to go through it. So let me pull some things. So I know this can go. That's an old sweater that I just thought was comfy. Same for this, needs to go. This I would like to keep because that's a bit newer. Then I have these guys, pair of leggings that I don't wear, can go. This is a nice soft t-shirt that I like to sleep in sometimes and I just have some bras here. Um, then I have shorts, like loungewear shorts, which are nice. I can keep those. Then I have some like Christmas leggings in the back. Um, maybe, I can just get rid of this. I don't need any Christmas sweaters. I, I only wear them for videos, really. I don't need to. These are nice. They're from Primark. They're really old. Um, I think I can get rid of these. And then just keep the penguin ones. Those are nice to just have something that's really nice and warm and toasty. These are knitted, so they are super warm. And then I just have my, ooh, like, long sweatpants. Then I have a lot of, like, sleepwear stuff here. And I only, wear, like, I always wear the same, where is it? Oh, this is the dress. Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know where it went, but I always wear the same thing to sleep in. So I don't need this much. Like, this is what I sleep in mostly, just a pair of ribbed cotton knickers and like a little bra set. It's just the comfiest thing. I get them from Monkey. They do them in lots of different colors. But I just wear the black ones. <laughs> and then what I've been doing recently is that I wear these sort of like sweatshirts to sleep in. So this is the current one that I'm using for sleeping. So I've got sleepwear. And then I have another like t-shirt that I can sleep in or just wear around the house. And by the way, the t-shirt I'm wearing right now is actually gonna go after filming this video. I just need to wear something easy today. So then I'm going to put my short shorts in here. And then I have this one that I wore, so I need to put that in the wash. And this one I've just taken out of the wash. Nice, big, fluffy, vintage sweatshirt. So that can all go in there. Then in here, I have bras and there's one that I know I can get rid of because it doesn't really fit me So that's fine. Everything else here is good. But what I should go through <laughs> Is the swimwear that's in the back Because I, I never go swimming and yet That's a pair of tights. I have all of this swimwear for someone who never ever goes swimming, I really don't need like five bathing suits and five bikinis. I really don't. So this bikini, as comfortable as it is, it got, it's gotta go. 
Um, this red bathing suit I like, but it has no support that can go. This red polka dot number is really cute, but it, it protects nothing. This is the one bathing suit that I really want to keep because this is great if you actually want to go like swimming. Not for sunbathing, but for swimming. This is good. And then I have this striped bathing suit, which also has the shaping thing. So this is really lovely, so I'd like to keep that. I've just gotten more into actual bathing suits rather than bikinis. This one is nice too, but it's got the thinner straps. Um, but I do like this too, so I'd like to keep that. This polka dot number is so cute. And it fits me really good in the bust, but the bodice is actually a little bit too tight. Um, I'm not sure I can still put this on. But it's a good one, so I don't want to get rid of it because it actually has cups in the bathing suit. It's really nice. And then I just have this black one, which does have a bit more support than the red one, so I do want to keep that. And then I would have one bikini left, and it's just this strappy... Ooh, where's the cup? It's just this strappy bendo thing with matching high-waisted bottoms, which I would also wear. So. Then in here I keep like underwear, which is fine. But in here I stuffed some of my strapless bras in there because I couldn't fit them anymore in here. So now I can pop my strapless bras. We have a drawer with like anything I like to wear underneath things. So little shorts to hold up tights and like layering things. So this needs to go here. And then I have this dress. Oh, this is my layering top. This is also just a sports bra from H&M. Yeah, and I just have my blacks and my nudes and things like that. A gray one just in case. I've got tights and socks in here. Where we need to go through, what we need to go through is this. So this is my workout drawer. This is a workout jacket for when you work out outside, which I like. Here I just keep towels. This is a pair of pants that I wore to work out outside. But then I just have some black workout tights and I've got burgundy ones got these green ones. I'm going to get rid of the colorful ones. These ones can go because they're a bit tight. Same for these. They're also capri length, which is not my best length. This pair of shorts I don't wear. That pair of shorts I don't wear. Now, what I think is going to happen is that if I just take these like this, that it can actually fit all of my leggings there. This is a long sleeve top, which is nice. I've got my bras in the back here, but again, I need to go through it just to see what what I still wear. Because there's a lot here, and most of it is just stuffing. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe. Oh wow, I still have some old Dan shoes in here. Oh, yes, more old Dan shoes. And Dan's tights. Uh, these I need to look at in a bit. What is this? Oh, they're Dan's tights. These are cups. Those can go. And I have workout tops. I tend to wear the black ones. <laughs> um, so I tend to wear this one a lot. With the mesh. This one can perhaps go. And then I have the matching tops with this. These can go. And then I do think I have something in the laundry that's like purple um, that I still need to wash, but that's in my hamper. And then I just have a bunch of other tops. And here I'm like, do I need all of these? This is a tighter top. Oh, this is actually perfect to go in here. Because I was thinking I need another one of these like workout top like things to layer. This is going to be great. I like them if they're cropped because then they work really well under like a cardigan or something. It's a little bit cropped as well, but it's got the little cutout sort of thing, so that's fine. Some of these are so old. This one I don't like, because it's really high up. Oh no, this is actually not one of those. 
This one is fine. Where's that really high one? Is that this one with the, it's like almost like a turtleneck. So it's too warm. This one is super old, so I just need to get rid of it. It looks so gross. <laughs> this one I don't love because it's got like a tighter bottom. Don't love that. And then I just have a long sleeve top. So, and then I'm going to keep this, this, and this. This is like super old, <laughs> really, really old. In fact, it's so old that the hooks on it have completely morphed. Um, so I really like this one and I like this one. And I like the one that's currently in the wash. And then I need to choose between these two. This one is super old as well, but I still find it very comfortable. Yeah, I do. This one can go. That's fine. Right, you know your declutter was successful if you end up with nine, nine trash bags filled to the brim with stuff. So yes, final part of this video, part number three, is to show you the things I decided to keep in the end. So the reason I am showing you this part is because I actually have a bit of a system when it comes to declutters. I also do this with my makeup, that after filming everything and deciding what to get rid of, I put everything away, I put things in boxes, or in the case of clothing, I put it into trash bags, and I, I get it out of my home. I actually have a little like storage unit downstairs where I keep bikes and like other miscellaneous things and like Christmas decorations and stuff. Um, and I actually have space to keep some items there. So then it's out of my house and out of my mind. And then as I'm posting the videos, I usually come across things where I'm like, I don't think I want to get rid of that. So seeing the items again in the declutter and also just not being with the items for a few months usually makes me see that maybe not everything I had decided to get rid of, I should actually be getting rid of. And in the case with clothing, especially because I tend to do declutters in the springtime, my summer wardrobe hasn't had much of an outing in the months leading up to that declutter. So it's very easy for me to think, oh, I no longer want this thing or I no longer want that thing. But now that we're heading into nicer weather, there were so many things I had decluttered, like certain prints and like certain items in my wardrobe that just made me feel like, why did I decide to get rid of this? Because now is the season that I would want to wear these things. So I actually did end up pulling uh, quite a few items again from the declutter and I'm showing you uh, 10 or 11 of them here. And some of them are also like just in placements for like different categories because I had found out that I had gotten rid of almost all of my gingham, almost all of my broderie anglaise, and almost all of my black tops and black like background tops with a print, like blouses and things. And I just found myself on websites shopping for nearly exact items to things I had decided to declutter, which to me, since it wasn't gone gone yet, I was like, I'm gonna pull them from the bin bags and I'm going to put them back in my wardrobe because one of the reasons why I'm decluttering is because I want to minimize, but also if that means that I'm going to be buying more, that's not what I want to do. So that's why these items are definitely like placeholders for some other things as well. And I'm just going to be talking you through them. So case in point, item number one, I decided to get rid of this uh, dress when I did my declutters, but this is such a good full on cotton white dress. And I was like, why am I getting rid of this thing? I also decided to keep my other broderie on glaze dress that I had decided to get rid of. Um, that one I got rid of because it didn't have a collar. This one does have a collar, but it's got a bit of a like A-line shape, so it's not the best for me. But this is just such a fun summer item 
that I was like, this is going to be so great when it gets warmer at work, like right about now, the weather is definitely starting to improve, like from one day to the next. We had a super cold spring, so these kind of items just weren't front and center in my brain. But as I went through like, and like looking at websites again, I looked at so many like white, broderie anglaise items that I was like, I need to keep those dresses and I need to keep those tops because it would be a shame if I ended up buying something that I already owned that I still have lying about technically. So I did salvage this. Another item that I decided to salvage and I was very on the fence about this one as I was doing the declutter was this tropical print dress. Um, it's from ASOS, it's a polyester. And I had this thing where I was like, I need to get rid of all the polyester in my wardrobe. However, this is such a fun print for like right now. It's got a sweetheart neckline, so it's super flattering. It's a skater style, like fit and flare kind of uh, shape, which is super flattering on me. It's got this like floaty sleeve. And I actually found a thumbnail on my other channel where I wore this dress in a video. And I was like, it's such a good dress. Red is one of my favorite colors to wear. I love the pink floral design on it. I love the juxtaposition with the, the green leafy design as well. That I was like, I'm crazy getting rid of this. Why is this on the declutter pile? So I ended up keeping this one because it's A, a very fun print and it's just a really good fit for me, which is why I just, I can't get rid of this. Remember this one? I decided to get rid of this blazer because like, oh, it's too similar to some of my other checkered blazers. I have another red blazer. But then I was like missing it. And I was like, you know, come fall time, I know I want to wear this again. I have a Mickey Mouse print t-shirt that I actually also decided to keep in the end that goes perfectly with this. And it's just such a good one. And I was like, but then I would be getting rid of a very cool item and I was missing it straight away. And when I watched my blazer declutter, I was like, I need to save you this one for sure. So this top kind of goes with the dress, but for a different reason. I'm not just keeping this because it is broderie anglaise, but because of the sleeves, like I don't have that many like cool sleeved items. And I don't wear this a whole lot because I don't love the seam that we have going on here. It just kind of cuts you off at a, at a weird point and you can definitely feel it throughout the day. It's got this really stunning Isla detail as well. And just for that, for that reason, I can't get rid of it. It's not the best top for me. It's got a very high neck. It only has one closure here in the back, which is another reason why I don't wear it a lot. And the bodice part of this isn't that interesting. But the sleeves on this, again, I found an old video where I was wearing this and I was like, ooh, but you're cool. So I wanna keep it. Now this blouse is a placeholder for many blouses that I actually decided to keep. I love a blouse. And now that it's like spring, summer, I'm wearing blouses again. And when I filmed the declutter, it was February. I wasn't wearing a lot of my blouses. So it was very easy for me to get rid of them. But I had decluttered almost all of my darker print blouses and a lot of my black blouses because they were synthetic polyester. Thinking I'm gonna be repurchasing these in like silks. And then I was like, you know what? It doesn't make sense to get rid of it all if they are still good to go. Why not wait to declutter these until I have actually bought the replacement and keep a couple of these fun things as well because I had gotten rid of all of my black and white printed blouses, save for like two. And I was really missing this leopard print guy. It's got the fun contrast color. Um, and I, I kept in a couple of other things in like a similar style. Yes, it's sheer. I've had this for more than a decade. It's incredibly old H&M. And then this number, and this is a placeholder for all of the gingham items. I had decided to get rid of so much gingham and I was like, but gingham is so perfect for the spring summer season. And guess what? I already wore this again. This is actually on a plastic hanger because I had it in the wash. <laughs> it was, I, I used plastic hangers to dry things in case you were wondering. Um, so I've already worn this again since pulling it out of the declutter pile. And that's actually what happened with a lot of the tops that I decided to keep in the end where I was like, I was just craving wearing some of those black pattern tops that I've already worn like a handful of those since pulling them out of the clutter pile. Case in point, this gingham top. So I did decide to keep like three of my gingham print dress uh, blouses because again, I was looking into gingham print items to purchase, which makes no sense. Like why would I want to do that to myself? So yeah. 
this little monkey number I decided to keep. But the item that made me really wanna go into my declutter pile was this cardigan. It's from Only. I've had it for years. Like this is such an old item. Um, and I was like, you know what? I, I got rid of my long line mustard yellow cardigan. Why? Because this is like my best, like I need to go down a little bit, but it's like my best yellow color because it has a bit of green running through it. And I was like, you know what? I haven't worn it much lately, but also in the past two to three years, we weren't going out much. I love throwing this over dresses. This is such a good staple item that I was like, I, I, I can't get rid of this thing. I just can't. It's such a good item. It doesn't have any holes that aren't supposed to be there because it does have like holes in the pattern here. Um, it's still in really good condition, even though I've worn it a lot. Why get rid of it if it's such a good one? I, it just didn't make any sense to me when I saw my own declutter. Another knitwear piece I decided to keep in the end is this lilac cable knit sweater. Again, a very old one from H&M that I've had for years, but I tend to wear this again more so in the spring summer season. Um, I've never liked how it has this little split off to the side, but I was like, you know, this is such a good item for like nicer weather days. I'm not currently wearing a lot of lilac, which is probably why I wanted to declutter it, but it's just a really good staple item in my wardrobe. So why get rid of it if it's again, in still in really good condition, despite the fact that it's years old. I mean, this is at least seven years old, at least. And just because it's old, I can still get excited for this. If lilac ever comes back, it's like a trend color. I love the cable knit pattern it has because it also has it in the back. You don't very often find that in fast fashion. And for a fast fashion piece, this has held up so well, plus it's full on cotton, making it super breathable and very easy to wear. So this is the second time I've pulled this skirt out of a declutter pile. <laughs> I know I'm terrible, but I did decide to keep some bottoms. Bottoms wise, I felt pretty solid. I didn't pull out too many of the bottoms, but this, I just wanna keep the print and for that handkerchief hem, like look at that. I don't have anything else like it in my wardrobe. It's again an H&M item. It's always been a, a little bit snug, so it kind of pinches me after a few hours of wear. But again, you know, for the spring summer season, it's not like my usual print, but I just loved this like handkerchief style. It's like you're wearing a massive handkerchief uh, and you've wrapped it around your body. It has almost like a nautical team theme as well with the roping. Um, and then you just have a really lovely paisley print. It's a busy skirt, but I really, really enjoy the look of this. And I just love how it drapes. It's a stunning one. Why was I going to get rid of this again? And then another item that I had to pull because it was a white pair of trousers and it's a little bit big on me. Like it's a size too big, so it's a bit too baggy, but I'm like, I can just throw on a belt and I can make it work. And it's a pair of full on cotton trousers. And I, when the weather started to turn a bit nicer, I was like, I wanna wear my white cotton trousers. And I was like, but wait, didn't I declutter those? So I felt so silly that I had to take them out of the declutter pile as well. So that's why the white cotton trousers are still living in my wardrobe. And finally, I know it's faux fur. It's not this season's kind of uh, item for sure, but my black faux fur co coat. I was like, this was such a good find because it, it's from Bershka and it was only like 50 euros and I got it on a deal. So it was super affordable. I actually wore this, this fall winter season and I loved it. It's like a huge blanket that you can wrap yourself around uh, into. Like if your heating is out and you wear something like this, you can still keep warm. Um, so it's a, it's a great thing to, I just think to have around. And yes, it's like a massive blanket and it's super heavy, but when, have I, when am I ever going to find something like this again? So those are the items that I decided to pull from the wardrobe declutter and that I've decided to put back into the wardrobe because they are just such good staples. Like why would I get rid of those things? Even though not all of them are like everyday wear kind of items, but you know, I, I'm someone who is not too keen of getting rid of things. Like whenever people come into my house and they've never been here before, they always see the amount of shoes I have out in my hallway and I'm like, I had the same shoe size since like I was 12. So some of those shoes I've had for 15 years, which is why I have so many. Um, and the same thing goes with my wardrobe. I haven't changed 
my clothing size recently all that much. Like the jeans I bought two years ago, two, like five years ago, I can still fit into. So I'm pretty like stable into like my sizing. So that doesn't fluctuate all that much. Um, and it means that I can still wear all of these things just as fine as they, they were when I first bought them. Um, so yeah, I, I can still wear these for sure. So I don't really see why I should. So I hope you en enjoyed this conclusion to the decluttering series. I really hope you enjoyed watching all of the declutters that I had for you in the past. Um, hopefully next year I will be doing it again, but I think the cull will be a, list, list, a little less severe than it was this year. Also because I've simply not been buying as many things. Um, actually, I showed you a haul a couple of weeks ago um, to uh, show you what was new in my wardrobe. And those were all the bits I bought since October. Um, and I really have been trying to slow down on the buying of clothes I just have. So that's why I think I'm just really happy with where my wardrobe stands. I have all the staples. I don't need to buy more. And if I've already owned it, it makes more sense to just put it back into the wardrobe and get more use out of it until it falls apart and then repurchase something than to now get rid of it and still have that craving for that pattern, that colorway, that kind of item in my wardrobe. It just doesn't make much sense. So yeah, thank you so very much for joining me today. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos on my uh, first channel and on this second channel, I make one a week. So for here, if you're, uh, I hope you'd like to join me again next week for a new video and I hope to see you on my other channel as well. Bye-bye.